everybody, happy Monday. Today's video is gonna be really exciting because I've officially had these baby girls for an entire year. I thought I'd share with you how I picked their names out for them, what their names actually mean, and maybe give you some tips on what you can name your piggies when you bring them home. Stay tuned. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the little bell so you'll know when the next video is available. So I'm technically just a couple of days early. We picked up the girls on August 19th, 2019, and I definitely haven't had any regrets. I did want to get girl guinea pigs just because I had heard about boar cleaning and that it can be pretty messy business. So I was going to do my best to avoid boys, now that that lasted for very long. But I did want to at least start out with these baby girls. So when we saw the girls, we did have the intention of getting two. One was going to be for me, and the other was going to be for my boyfriend, even though I take care of them 100% of the time. When I first saw the girls, I instantly fell in love with Luna. Her little fuzzy face, her crazy hair, and her really cute design. I love that she has the little white stripe right across her perfectly. The first names that I was considering for Luna was Pepper or maybe even Velvet. I honestly did go on quite a few websites on what to name your pairs of guinea pigs or just pet names in general. There isn't really a wrong way to go. Some people go with food items, like even coffee or cupcakes, something like that could be cute. But we decided to go the different route. I'd be lying if I didn't say that I was partially inspired by Sailor Moon and her little cat Luna. That is mainly who Luna is named after, especially because the coloring lines up perfectly for that. When we picked out her name Luna, I had told my boyfriend, I want to go with Luna. Instantly, he said that he wanted to name this little girl Soul for Sun. If you didn't know already, Luna is Latin for the word moon. So he thought it'd be cute to have a little play on sun and moon. And I didn't like it. I didn't like the name Soul. I instantly rejected it. I thought it was a little bit too masculine of a name. So. My next suggestion was maybe sunny, because it would still mean the same thing technically, sun and moon, if we wanted to go that route. But he didn't like it too much. So then he suggested Terra, and Terra is the Latin word for Earth. Now it does technically mean the planet Earth, but Earth can technically mean dirt. So I figured that kind of fit with her because she's very like earthy looking because she's got all her beautiful brown shades. So that's why we picked their names the way we did. He's always very happy to tell everybody that we purposely picked their names to be Latin, but to be completely honest, I had no intention of going with this pattern. I liked the name Luna. I like the character from Sailor Moon. So I thought, why not? And also, another way that their names work, this is a little running joke that I have with the baby girls, is I call them my little goddesses. I'm a bit of a video gamer, and there's this one older game series called Lunar, and the goddess in the game is named Luna. So I figured, there we go. As for Terra, in good old fashioned Final Fantasy VI, the main character's name is Terra, and she's got like cool magical powers and can transform into what's called an Esper. So, it's another way that it works. I've got wonderful, beautiful, cute little girls. They've got strong, powerful names, which also happen to be Latin names. And that's just the way we went with that. As for Callum's name, 
You'll have to wait for that once we've had him for a year. Like I briefly mentioned before, if you are thinking of names for your guinea pigs, there are plenty of websites that you can go on. You can have cute little pair names as well. These girls are out of frame. I am so sorry, I am trying to keep them in frame. But this year has flown by so fast, the girls have gotten so big since we've gotten them, and they're so friendly. They actually let me pet them, which is so exciting. That's going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to ring the little bell so you'll know when the next video is available. I post new videos every Monday morning including educational, how-tos, and fun little tidbits as well as a vlog every Wednesday with updates on my piggies' lives. If you have any questions or future video suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I hope you all have a safe and a lovely day.